way to lose the game. A lot of things happened going all the way to overtime. After a game like this, um, what was your message to the team uh, afterward? We just have to play with more composure down the stretch. Uh, I thought it was a really good basketball game. I thought both teams were playing well. I thought they, they showed more composure, you know, down the stretch of the ball game. They made more plays. And, uh, you know, we have to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Talk about, you know, it's taking care of the ball. We had 23 turnovers. That's just way too many. And, uh, and then free throws. I thought we sent them to the line too many times as well. So those are things that contributed to, uh, to what happened out there. Coach, uh, expand a little bit more on the turnovers, a sign of some youth and inexperience down that stretch? Yes, exactly. Just, just the young team. Uh, just trying to get comfortable with each other and just, you know, familiarity. That's that's what happens. And in those moments, we got to be sharper. You know, uh, I understand that's what it comes from, but we just got to grow up quickly. You know, we tough stretch and we got to make sure we grow up and uh, clean up things up as fast as possible. If we saw Darius Perry on the bench for much of the second half and into overtime. Can you explain what went into that decision? Dre, Andreas Fuller was just playing well. He was playing well enough not to take him off the floor. And I thought he was playing really good. And, uh, and with that with that type of play, you know, we just kind of ride it. And I thought I thought we did the right thing. I thought he really came up with some big plays for us. Coach, as a ball handler, where do you think Dre is right now? Because I was in that second half. You needed him to be a ball handler for you a lot. Uh, I thought he, I think he did a good job. I thought he had a couple that, that I thought he forced balls where he's just not used to being in those situations. But by and large, I thought he moved the ball. He got the ball to, to open teammates. And uh, that's what he's done all year. So it's just a function of him learning uh, not to try to fit balls in tight spaces and, and uh, understanding what time and score is out there so that he knows what, what decision he's going to make next. But that's, that's all part of, you know, growth. Coach, do you think this was the best game for uh, for Jamil Reynolds? Uh, what did you see uh, from him out there tonight? I thought it was a good game for Jamil. I thought Jamil played well. He gave us a low post presence, which is what we want. And uh, he's getting better. He's, he's getting, he's starting to learn, you know, how you have to play to be successful at this level. And uh, I just see him just getting better and better. You know, he has is, he is a huge upside still. It just, uh, I, I like where he's trending. And I think he's only going to continue to improve. Sure, an overtime game is just what you wanted on the start of a four-game road trip. Exactly. <laughs> Couldn't have, you know, it was, it was good to get in overtime because we had to come back and get there. So uh, that part, absolutely, I'm happy we were able to compete in it. But I know what you're trying to say about the road trip. But uh, you know what it is with these guys love to compete. They want to play. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll have energy. We'll be able to get out and, and get after it. You know, that's what they want to do. That's what they do every day in practice and preparation. So we'll have the energy to keep competing. Coaches, I know all losses hurt because you don't want you don't want to lose. But this is a team you had never beaten. You come close. You were leading both the second half late and overtime late. Does this loss sting a little more? Um, you know, not because we've never beaten them, because there's always a different group you're playing with. And this is a different team than the teams that we've had before. So for them, it's their first time playing them. So for me, it's just a function of trying to get our guys to understand the importance of of time and score, understanding how to close games out when you when you're in those situations. And, uh, and we have to be better, and that's what we're going to work on.